Hey guys, Laser Bear here back with another all new reaction video. Today I got Patrice O'Neill recommended by Sick Turret. Just a quickie on Patrice if you never heard of him. After this video, go check out Opie and Anthony. Uh, there's a video of where it's just him. It's a video of him and one of them is dressed up as a Nazi and they're saluting full on just hey, you know, they're hiling a cab. Ha ha. And he's just standing there. And they would see if the taxi drivers would pick him up or the Nazi. They literally drove past him like 10 times. They did this only know how many times. I'm so freaking sad because Patrice passed away in November of 2011. I mean, it's been eight years. Shouldn't be sad. But he was literally one of the funniest motherfuckers ever. And he didn't do stand-up for like two three years before he died because he had gotten in fights and people were just giving him a hard way to go all right which it happens with all of us you gotta ignore those people but yeah other than that um other story i can think of and then i'll just get into the video is kevin hart talking about a story where he was living with patrice and he was he walked in on Patrice masturbating and instead of Patrice stopping he just kept going <laughs> told Kevin to get out he's like get out man get out doesn't stop what he's doing and then like five ten minutes later when he's finished he comes out he's like oh sorry you had to see that man but you know it's one of the funniest stories ever man especially with Kevin Hart on it but just um even with Patrice he'll you'll see what I'm talking about in all his stand-ups, he gets you to hate him, and then he turns you. Like, he will try to piss you off, and then he gets you laughing. And he's just one of the all-time greats. So let's get into it. This is Patrice O'Neill, The Nasty Show, Part 1. So, 3, 2, Women need to step it up in the bedroom. <laughs> Most of you are losers and you're fucking, I tell her, she's a loser in the bedroom, tell her. You, she doing everything you like? Come on, come on. Everything? Everything pretty much. That means no, motherfuckers. Stop. <laughs> Try to play wordplay with a nigga? Pretty much, which means no. <laughs> she ain't doing what she's supposed to do. Why don't you step it up, sweetie? That's what he just told you. Pretty much, you're not step. Step it up. Step it up. You have a pee on her? <laughs> you have a pee on her? You have a pee on her? You want a pee on her? <laughs> it's hard to introduce piss to the relationship, you know? That's why any woman who's not getting pissed on is cause he don't know how to fucking bring it to you. How you bring that, sir? With the glasses, with this lovely woman here? You wanna pee on her, don't you? But you can't figure out how. What do you do? Oh, baby, I was drinking too much apple juice. <laughs> and I gotta pee right now, but I ain't gonna make it to the bathroom. Can I pee on you, please? Schnookums, maybe you call them schnookums, it'll help. Boo Bear, can I pee on you? Tickle her. Oh, coochie cool. Can't tell her, like, you know. How do you tell women you love? That's what I'm saying, you gotta be nasty, right? You can't tell them if you love them. You can't tell them how to do certain things and, like, love them. You can't go, oh, baby, listen, why you, why you sucking my dick? Can you just, can you, can you, can you just spit on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mic. Oh. And then she tries to love you and spit on you. 
And then you go, no. No. Can you just... <laughs> and let it run down the shaft onto the balls. Oh, my fucking Precious. God. Pussy whip town. The vaginas have it. They are running you fags. You are pussies in this town. Hear that? Look at the fella. Ooh, sacred blue, huh, motherfucker? You, you just take it in the ass, don't you? A lot of old women here, too. A lot of old pussy in Montreal. 30 and over. 30 year old pussy is old, man. Let me tell you something. The value of pussies like cars, it ain't like houses. Shit. <laughs> Eat no 30 year old pussy. It tastes like you're licking an alligator's stomach. <laughs> Dry prehistoric pussy. Get out of here with that. <laughs> I'm gonna put WD 40 on the pussy. <laughs> Look at this table right here. They're just appalled. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Women just bring on fun. That's what your jobs are, ladies, is to bring down man fun. When men are having fun, you're here to just ah! swoop down like fire-breathing parrots and just... Ah! That's stupid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Burn up our fun. <laughs> Because here's, here's why you'll never Excuse understand me. men. This is why you, you just, you hate us, because you don't understand how, how, why we're just better than you in terms of having a good time, right? It's because men are dumb, and we're philosophical about our dumbness. Like, we're, we can have hours and hours of fun off of dumb shit, and y'all don't know how to do that. Like, here's a man conversation that could go on for two days. Hey, hey, would you fuck a girl if she didn't have a nose? <laughs> So that's Patrice O'Neill, The Nasty Show, part one. Uh, I might do part two for the next video. Oh, my God, I love Patrice. But what I tell you guys, you get some pissed off, and then you get some laughing. It's just fucking boom, 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 just over and over and over. Love Patrice, man. Even that started just... <laughs> he's so stupid dude but he was so fucking funny i encourage you to go find any patrice o'neill stories the one by the ones by kevin hart the one by opening and anthony the skits where he's on opie and anthony just go find him man it's very sad that he passed away it's sad that he didn't do comedy a lot at the end of his life because he felt like an outcast. Just great guy, very funny. Sad to see him go. I'll see you guys again soon.